So this is a aftermarket keyless entry system or remote central locking kit, uh, which you can buy quite cheaply here in the UK in places like uh, eBay or Amazon for about ten pounds. And we're going to try and, and attempt in this video is to uh, fit it to a 2003 Mark One Honda Jazz. Uh, the idea being that we're going to tap into the current central locking, um, which is controlled by the uh, locks on the car. So. We're going to see if we can tap into that system and uh, then control it via the uh, fob. So if we take a look inside one of these, uh, they come in various uh, types. Um, this is quite a simple one here, uh, if you look at the fob, that just comes with the lock and unlock. It doesn't have the rear boot because that's not something that is supported by this car. Um, so you basically get the uh, control module. Uh, it just has the main connector um, and a few other sort of buttons and jumpers for controlling some of the functionality. Uh, here we have the main connector here and we get the spare key fob and then there's stuff like an LED um, which I think you can just use as a visual deterrent um, when the car is locked but I'm not sure we're going to be using that. So yeah as I said these are fairly generic one, so if you look at the instructions, uh, it has different configurations. Uh, the one we're going to be looking at is the one that they call the negative triggering wire diagram. As um, looking at some of the wiring diagrams on the Honda Jazz, uh, the system works by grounding the um, lock and unlock um, wires on the central locking module. So yeah, hopefully what we're going to do is um, try and install this in the driver's side footwell and tap into some of the existing wiring wirings that are coming in via the uh, driver's side door. So yeah, we're going to have a look at that next. So if we've removed uh, various plastic covers, uh, we've taken the one off around the fuse box, to give us access to all the connectors. And uh, we've also taken off the one on the side here. I mean, these ones just pretty much clip on. Uh, there's also one under the uh, fuse box above the pedals. Uh, which is kind of clipped in so we've removed all of those so now we have all access to the uh, electrics and hopefully we're going to tap into some of these wires uh, if you look carefully here on the side there is this white connector which i believe is the main one which is uh, connected to the driver's door so we're going to have a look at that one next uh, try and figure out which ones are connected to the door lock and uh, see how we're going to tap into it in terms of where we're probably going to store the module there seems to be a convenient place kind of just here under the uh, fuse board so we're going to see if we can mount the unit in there and basically just run the wires through um, and after we've connected the main door switch we're going to try and find the indicators and see if we can tap those as well so that when you press the lock and unlock uh, the lights flash not essential but you know it's probably good for a completeness So I've done some tests with the uh, multimeter, I'm looking at how this works. And uh, basically on this grey connector here uh, is all the wiring uh, that comes in from the door. The one I'm interested in is the one that's connected to the key. And the way this works is, is that uh, using a multimeter, if you measure this one uh, and the one above it, this one here, they both have 12 volts. Uh, this is the lock signal, so what happens when you turn the key is that this one then gets grounded. So it goes from 12 volts down to zero uh, while the key uh, is turned in that position to lock the door. And the one above it is similar when you do the unlock, uh, it will take the 12 volt down to ground. So what we'll need to do is to tap the module into these two for the uh, lock and unlock above it. Uh, other stuff I'll need to do is um, have a look around here at the fuse box and try and find a permanent 12 volt feed. So yeah, I'm going to um, tap the wiring, uh, just kind of get it all fitted temporarily and then just see if it's actually working or not and then look to finish off the install. So I've done the wire tapping now for the central locking. Uh, you can see the two white wires there uh, for the lock and unlock and then there's this uh, white wire with the blue which has got the... Uh, ground wires going into the module so in this unit you have the relative that's negative 
and then you have a white or a white with a black mark is for the locking and unlocking um, and that's going into here and then I've just temporarily just tapped it into a connector here uh, just to test the unit out uh, I'm gonna have to source a proper uh, 12 volt because um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where this connects to but wiring up to the battery the good news is uh, it appears to be working so uh, a bit hard to tell um, but we look at this lock here so if I press the unlock button uh, which it already is so lock you should see that thing drop down uh, lock goes back up again so yeah good news is um, this appears to be working so so far so good so you can see here as well that the there's a clicking noise inside the module which will be when the indicators are connected uh, presumably that's to make them flash um, so yeah next step is to find a proper 12 volt source um, this unit does have a fuse uh, but I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna tap it into yet I need to check the wiring diagrams but yeah I'll come back uh, once that's been tidied up and then yeah that should be it um, for that and then we'll have to look to see how we can plug the indicators in no idea where the uh, indicator wires are at the moment but I think they're somewhere up there so again I'll need to have a look So here it is with the module all wired in. Uh, I'll just recap in terms of uh, what we've done. So we have the main control wires coming to this uh, connector here, which is uh, basically the door switch. And that is feeding into these uh, white and yellow wires there. So the, the yellows are the uh, common ground. And I think the white wire is the locking and the white with the black is the unlocking. Uh, the brown wires are for the indicators so therefore the left and the right side now in terms of where these were connected um, when you look at the wiring diagrams there's a connector up here uh, it's a bit hard to see the colors because I've put tape on them but they're basically I think green and red green and yellow and uh, these normally go to the back indicator lights but they're wired up to all of them so I've already tested that and that works in terms of the uh, 12 volt source um, I ended up tapping into these two on the end. There's a white one on the left and next to it is a red. The red is the 12. And these are basically, if you use a multimeter, they connect to fuses 2 and 3, uh, which appear to be uh, for the windows and the central locking. So it's kind of nice that the unit's going to be connected to that. But yeah, that's basically all done. So all I now need to do is to fit the module. I'm probably going to stick it roughly here and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. I'll give you a demo. So here you can see the unit is now fitted. Um, it's just sitting down here. Just kind of glued it to the bottom of the fuse board. And yeah, it's all working. So let's give a quick demo. So shut the door. As you can see now, when I lock it. The uh, doors are locked. And you can see here on the side indicators unlocking get two flashes and when you lock the door you get a single flash but yeah so good result nice cheap upgrade hope that was of interest thanks for watching